All right, so what we have here is an arithmetic sequence that we have to determine the hundredth term in the sequence. Now, notice they already give us the first four in the sequence. And we should notice that the difference between each term is four. So what we can do is project forward to figure out what our hundredth term is going to be equal to. So if we were to add four more to 27, that would give us 31. Now, one thing we should notice about these increases right here is that you're always going to have one less increase than the number of terms in your sequence. For example, if we take a look at the fifth term, there were four increases to get to that fifth term starting from the first term. So you're always going to have one less common difference than the total number of terms in your sequence. Now, we could keep adding four until we hit the hundredth term, but that would take quite a while. So what we're going to do is take advantage of an equation that does it for us. So that equation is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 multiplied by d, or the common difference. Now, let's talk about this equation for a moment. So a to the sub n just means what is the term in question? So we want to find the hundredth term in our sequence. So we could say that is a sub 100. So n is equal to 100. And a with the 1 for the sub notation just means what is the first term in our sequence? And our first term is 15. That is our starting point. Now, and we already determined is equal to 100. And we subtract 1. That gives us 99 which makes sense because you're always going to have one less common difference altogether than the number of terms in your sequence. And we're going to multiply that by the common difference. So we're going to have this increase of 4 99 times, and that is where this part of the equation comes from because 99 times 4 just means we have 99 increases of 4, and we're going to add that product to 15, which is our starting point, which will tell us the value of the hundredth term. So let us go ahead and solve our equation. So we have a sub 100 here, or the hundredth term, is equal to 15 plus 99 times 4, which is equal to 15 plus 396, which is equal to 411. So we now know that the value of the hundredth term in our sequence is equal to 411. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and enable notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials to my math channel. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.